Goku has died. He had stood tall against the deadliest of foes, but the mighty warrior was no match for the virus in his heart. Vegeta and Bulma's son, Trunks, has grown into a young man with a strong sense of justice. How could the androids do this? How could they be so cruel? <laughs> Gohan is the only warrior left alive to face off against the android threat. Trunks, admiring Gohan's strength and burning with a desire to defeat the androids, makes an impassioned plea. Gohan, I want to be stronger. I want to put a stop to these monsters. Please, train me so I can help you fight. Gohan and Trunks, the last surviving warriors. Trunks. Okay, I'll do it. Thank you, Gohan. You won't regret this, I promise! Several days later, Trunks begins his intense training with Gohan, hoping to improve his skills enough to contend with the androids. Alright, let's get started with today's training. Right! I can't wait! I know I don't really have to say this, but I will anyway. The androids are insanely strong. I'm gonna fight you as if I'm fighting them. If you don't do the same, you're gonna get hurt. Understood. Here I come! I'm going to become strong enough to beat you. And then beat the androids! That's the spirit. And now! <laughs> Try this up. Good. Keep it up. Thanks. What? Here it comes. Try this up. You're a quick learner, Trunks. What's wrong, Trunks? Giving up already? It's on now! That attack was pretty solid. Wow, Trunks. Seeing you fight like this reminds me a lot of Vegeta. That means a lot to me, Gohan. Okay. Let's call it a day. <laughs> okay. You're good, Trunks. You're definitely Vegeta's son. I'm still not good enough. I don't think I'll ever be able to beat you at your best. <laughs> no way. You're gonna be even stronger than me someday. I'm counting on it. I sure hope so. All right, we'd better head back. Bulma's not going to be too happy if we stay out here any longer. Right. 
Definitely can't let her know I'm training with you. I'll go with you part of the way. Thanks. If we don't hurry, my mother's gonna start worrying about me. Given the way things are now, I wouldn't blame her. By the way, how's she doing? Good. Well, pretty good. She's kind of run into some trouble with something she's working on. Huh? Trunks, wait! Ah! Somebody help! Go on. That guy over there's in trouble. Right. I'm on it. Are you okay? Who, who are you two? You were attacked by that thing, weren't you? Oh no! Huh? Uh, what is this? The, that alarm. It's going to get the android's attention. What? Huh? You hear that, AT? Yeah, I hear it. Sounds like fun to me. We're doomed! Doomed! The androids are no doubt on their way now! Trunks, quickly, take this person somewhere safe. I'll do my best to distract the androids if they show up. Right, will do! I sure hope Trunks was able to find a safe hiding spot. <laughs> oh, it's only you. I was hoping for a change of pace, but I guess that's not gonna happen. This sucks. We're just repeating the same fight over and over again. It's the androids! So what that guy was saying was true! They actually showed up! What are you doing here, Trunks? Uh, I thought I could help you fight them. No. You're not strong enough yet to take them on. Hey, he's already showed up for the party. So why not let him join in on the fun, huh? I guess it's too late now. Try to avoid them and stay right behind me as much as you can. Right! Got it! Try to win. Just focus on staying alive. Damn it! I'm gonna try to give us a chance to get out of here. Uh, okay. Uh oh. Looks like they're running out of steam. What are you two talking about? Why you? Okay, okay. So you can fight, kinda. <laughs> Why you? Keep it up. You might actually pull something off. Why you? What's wrong? We came this far and this is the best you can do? I wouldn't get too cocky if I were you. This is our only shot at getting away. Trunks! Now's our chance to get out of here! R right! Well, damn. Looks like they got away. Whatever. They weren't that fun anyway. Let's get out of here. Sure. 
Maybe they'll actually put up a fight next time. But I'm not holding my breath. <sighs> okay. I think they're gone now. Yeah, looks like it. I sure hope that guy we helped out earlier is okay. Yeah, I'm worried about him too. You mind showing me where he is? Sure, I'll take you there. Sir, are you okay? Oh, it's you two! So you're still alive! Yeah, you look like you're doing okay too. You know, when that thing found me, I thought I was a goner. But fortunately, you two came to the rescue. Thank you so much. Ah, oh, it was nothing. By the way, what exactly was that drone? That was one of the Red Ribbon Army's old patrol bots. Dangerous little guys. What? It's programmed to fly around Red Ribbon Army facilities, and if it detects any potential intruders, it sounds an alarm to call reinforcements. Okay, but there aren't any Red Ribbon Army facilities in this area, though. That's true, but it appears the bot is operating on its own. It's forgotten its patrol routine, and instead detects threats anywhere, all around the world. To make matters worse, the androids are the ones around to hear and respond to its alarm. If you don't intend to fight the androids, you only have two options, either evade the drone or destroy it. If the alarm does trigger, you should be able to avoid alerting the androids by destroying the drone right away. I see. Thanks for the information. You really do seem to know a lot about drones and stuff. Indeed. That's because I'm a researcher who specializes in mechanical engineering. Anyway, the Red Ribbon Army robots make use of some experimental technology. Their state-of-the-art command drones control other drones, and inside those command drones are some particularly rare parts. I thought I'd try to procure one of those rare parts and finally do something about those drones. But then one of them spotted me. Are you serious? That's dangerous. He's right. You should stay far away from that drone. Huh, maybe you're right. But if you two could destroy that command drone for me and help procure that part, it'd really help me out. Think it's possible? I'll reward you for your efforts, of course. Huh. If that thing's still around to alert the androids, it could end up getting a lot more people killed. So, you'll help me, will you? I suppose. At least as much as I can. Oh, that's perfectly fine with me. I'll be counting on you two, so stay safe. So we're after a drone that can alert the androids. We definitely have to stop it. Right. But if we don't handle this carefully, we'll end up fighting the androids when we don't need to. We have to be smart. You can say that again. I mean, as much as I hate to admit it, I'm no match for the androids right now. Okay, let's try to make our way back as safely as we can. Right! They look simple enough to beat. Better be careful and avoid triggering that drone's alarm. The androids might show up. The androids made a real mess of this place. It's just me and Mom living here. Made it. I bet you're pretty tired. 
Get plenty of rest. You'll need it for our training tomorrow. Right. Thanks for today, Gohan. See you tomorrow. Okay, Mom. I'm gonna meet Gohan now. See you later. You've been hanging out with Gohan a lot recently, Trunks. You better not be putting yourself in danger. Are you putting yourself in danger? Uh, of course not. <laughs> Is that so? Okay, then. As long as you're going to see him, why not ask Gohan to join us for dinner? We've got more than enough food. That's a great idea, Mom. Gohan will love that. I'll ask him. Okay, bye. Be careful out there. All right, time to go meet Gohan. I wonder what today's training's gonna be. Dinner with Gohan. We'll be able to talk about all sorts of stuff. It's gonna be great. They might be out of my league. Sorry for the wait, Gohan. You get enough rest yesterday? If not, you're not gonna get as much out of this training as you should. I'm good. All right. I'm sure you know firsthand how strong the androids are. And that's why we need you to become a Super Saiyan as soon as possible. Uh, okay. Let's get right into it. It's gonna be tough, but once you're warmed up, I'll help you out. So, you ready? Yep, let's do this. Okay, here I come. Good, bring it on. Here I come. <laughs> Take that, Nacenta! Okay, I think you're getting there. Right, I can keep going. It's on now. Take that, Nacenta! <laughs> It's a pretty good attack, but it's not going to help you become a Super Saiyan. Get angry, Trunks. Come on. Okay. Try this on. What? Take that. No good. Get mad. Pretend I'm an android. Let the rage consume you. You as an android? Well, that's gonna be tough, but I'll try. What? What? Take this! Nice work. That's enough for now. Got it. It sure is hard to become a Super Saiyan. I mean, I'm really trying to get angry. <laughs> I never said it would be easy. It's really just a matter of increasing your energy and exploding with rage. Sounds simple, but to actually pull it off, you're gonna need more training. Right. I won't give up. Oh yeah, my mom wanted to know if you'd have dinner with us tonight. You'll come, right? Uh, dinner? Uh, you sure it's okay? Yeah, I think she's already making enough for all of us. I see. Well, if that's the case, then I guess I'll head over. Awesome! Okay, let's get going! Looks like there's a Red Ribbon Army drone in the area. Watch out! My mom's gonna be so happy. 
I can't remember the last time I had a meal with Bulma. So, you've known my mom for a long time, haven't you? Yeah. I was only four when I first met her. Actually, a lot happened that day. And my life hasn't been the same since. Oh yeah? What happened? Well, it's complicated, but my dad's long-lost brother kind of showed up and kidnapped me. I'm back, Mom! And I brought Gohan with me! Glad you're back safe, Trunks. And it's good to see you, Gohan. Yeah, good to see you too. Your timing's impeccable. I just finished preparing dinner. The androids have made it pretty hard to get everything I want. Some ingredients are hard to find. But I try to make up for it with my ability to adapt in the kitchen. I really appreciate this, Bulma. And so, thanks to Bulma's efforts, the three were able to enjoy a nice meal together and relax. Mmm, thanks a lot for the meal. It was delicious. Whoa, you sure can eat a lot, Gohan. Uh, well, it was just so good I couldn't help myself. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you just like him. Huh? Like who? Seeing you in that outfit, eating like you do. <laughs> you remind me so much of your father. Oh, it's almost like he's still here. I wear this as a way to remind myself that I need to be strong, just like him. My dad was a really carefree person. He never let anything get to him, even my mom chewing him out. That's so true. But that didn't stop him from risking his life time and time again to protect me and all the people he knew and loved. He was amazing. I want to carry on his legacy and fight for those I care about, for everyone. But I feel there's more I should be doing. Wow, Gohan's amazing. He's such a strong person. You're doing plenty. <laughs> Rumor has it you're out there giving the androids a hard time all on your own. <sighs> I'm impressed. <laughs> Thanks. Trunks is impressed too, and unfortunately, now he thinks this is his fight as well. Go on, tell him. <clears throat> <laughs> she doesn't know, right? That I'm training to fight the androids? Again? <sighs> you know, it's already pretty late. You must be tired, Gohan. Why don't you just stay the night? Yeah, you should sleep over. Come on, stay, Gohan. Well, I, I am pretty tired. I'll take you up on that offer then. Good. I'll prepare a bed for you. Now, you two go clean yourselves up. You both smell like you've been working out together all day. Mm. Sorry about that. Man, I was freaking out the other day at dinner. I thought my mom figured out we're training together. Well, Trunks, Bulma's one of the smartest people I know. If we keep staying out late, she'll eventually figure out what's going on. Yeah, so what should we do? Well, for starters, we shouldn't train every day. It might be best to incorporate some rest days into our routine. It'll be good for our bodies and prevent Bulma from worrying. Yeah, that's a good idea. Let's do it. Now that I think about it, it'll help me out too, since I'm probably worrying my own mom and grandpa. <laughs> oh yeah, I've been wondering about Chi-Chi and the Ox King. Have you seen them recently? How are they doing? Actually, you know, I haven't been back home since I started fighting the androids on my own. So, uh, I'm not really sure. Oh, okay. Every time I'd come back beaten up and broken from a fight with the androids, my mom would go crazy on me. She'd yell at me and tell me not to fight them. But I can't stop fighting. I have to avenge everyone the androids killed. 
and I have to protect this planet. That's what Dad would have done. Go on. But honestly, I am worried about how my mom and grandpa are doing. Ha, <laughs> look at me. I guess I'm just as much a worrier as my mom. Ha <laughs> ha. Anyway, enough about me and my family. Let's call it a day, all right? Okay. See you later. Maybe I should go check on Chi-Chi and the Ox King for Gohan. Time to head to Chi-Chi's place. Is that him? Need to hurry. Have to hurry. Huh? What's all that noise? What is that? Something's attacking Chi Chi. Not good. I need to help her. Get back, you mechanical meanies! Leave me alone! Chi-Chi, watch out! Trunks, is that you? Yeah, what's with these robots? I'm not sure. They came out of nowhere and started attacking me! Okay, leave this to me. You go find a safe place to hide. No, I can't leave you to fight these things! I'll be fine. Don't worry, I'm a lot stronger than I look. Looks like these things attack anything that moves. All right, bring it on! Here it comes! You're nothing compared to the androids. It's on now! Here it comes! I think the training with Gohan is starting to pay off. That's all of them. I hope Chi Chi's okay. Chi Chi, are you hurt? No, I'm fine. Although I totally could have handled those buckets of bolts on my own. <laughs> Glad to see you're still full of energy. Yeah, I might not look like it, but I've still got some fight left in me. I am glad you showed up. Thanks, Trunks. It was no problem. What were you up to? Me? No, oh, I was just on my way back from checking on the fields. Cool. I'll escort you back to your house then, just in case any more of those robots show up. Really? Well then, escort away, Mr. Bodyguard. <laughs> yes, ma'am. Hey, Trunks, my boy. I really appreciate you saving Chi-Chi. You know, you'd make Vegeta proud. Oh, it was nothing. Nothing? No need to be so modest, Trunks. You fought just like my Gohan when he was little. Uh, really? Oh, uh, that reminds me. I heard you were out there helping Gohan fight those awful androids. You did? Not good, not good. How did he hear about that? If he knows, then my mom might find out. Uh, <laughs> well, you shouldn't believe everything you hear, you know. Oh, uh, so you're not? Well, uh, I guess that's good. Right. Those androids are way too dangerous for a kid like you to fight. I don't even like Gohan fighting them. He was going to be a world-class scholar when he got older. I know how you feel, Chi-Chi, but Gohan's made up his mind. He's our boy, and we should trust him. 
We just have to hope he stays safe. Gohan doesn't fight because he wants to, but because he has to. And he's still thinking and worrying about you. Uh, at least that's what I think. You're right. Anyway, if you see him, would you please tell him to keep fighting, but to try to come home, like, every once in a while? I will. Okay, well, I'd better head back now. Stay safe, you two. Thanks. Give my regards to Bulma, okay? Have a safe trip back home. Thanks. Oh, uh, could you maybe not tell my mom what you heard about me helping Gohan fight the androids? <laughs> It'll just stress her out. <laughs> of course. I should let Gohan know how Chi-Chi and the Ox King are doing. I wonder if Gohan's where we were before. <laughs>